Hi folks, today we're going to program a 5900 air valve and the first thing we're going to do, notice right now it's flashing back and forth between the clock time, currently it's set to backwash every four days. We're going to adjust all the parameters for you today. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to press and hold both the set change button and the menu enter button. Press and hold them both and after a couple of seconds we come to our first menu item. This is R for regeneration. It's currently displaying 12 a.m. We're asking, we're being asked by the valve, what time do we want to backwash our filter at? And so we're going to press the set change button. If we press the set change button continually, it goes back and forth between a.m. and p.m. We'll keep it at a.m. Hit the menu enter button. Now we can change the clock time. We'll put it at 2 a.m. standard backwashing time generally and menu enter, it's accepted that value, hit the menu enter button again. We're on step two. There is no step one on the valve, or to say it another way, there is a step one, it's when it removes the air from the system prior to the backwash, and that cycle cannot be adjusted. However, the backwash generally wants to be for 10 minutes. If we did want to change it, press our set change button, we can change the digits in the ones place. Press the menu enter button and we can change the digits in the tens place. And we'll leave it at 10 minutes. And we'll go on to step three. Step three is not used on the air system, so we want to set this one to zero. Whoop, one around the horn, just keep punching it again. And zero, go over to the tens place. And we've got step three set at zero. Now we're going to step four. This is the rapid rinse cycle. Generally it's set for six minutes. We'll go ahead and press the set change button. We'll change the ones place up to six. Hit our enter button. Move over to the tens place. Put that at zero. Got it set for six minutes on the fourth cycle. Press the menu enter. We're on the fifth cycle, which is the air draw. It's when it's going to suck the air in to the tank. And we'll go ahead and set this for 12 minutes of air draw time. The amount of air draw time you're going to use is going to depend on your own conditions and uh, there'll be more information about how to set that in the written, written guide. But that's how you set it. And so now you're back to the original clock time and the number of days remaining. Let's go ahead and set our clock time. Press the menu enter button only this time and release it after a couple of seconds and now 841 is flashing set change, can change my ones, go over, can change my tens, go over, can change the hour it actually is about 855 in the morning here so we'll go ahead and leave that there here's where your AM and PM are, we'll leave it at AM and we go on a is for how many days is the how many days does it backwash? Right now it's set to cycle every fifth day. So if we want to change it and say we want to go to every sixth day, we change it and we go here and we keep it at six days and it's six days. However, when you press the enter button, oh excuse me, folks, we got one more here to do. This is this is how often it's gonna uh, 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 how often it's gonna do the air draw. And it's going to do the air draw every day. You're pretty much always going to have this one set at 01. So let's keep it set at 01. It'll suck air into it and bleed air out of it every day. And it's only going to do the backwash every number of set days. So now we're back to 856. I had set it at 5 and it still says 4. It won't change and reflect the 5 until... First, we're going to press and press and hold the set change button, and it'll change to one. Now the unit is going to backwash tonight, and if we want to reflect that, it'll and it'll still say one until it backwashes. When it's done backwashing, it'll accept and show the new value of five days remaining. And uh, so when when it's in this condition where there's one where it says one left, if you continue to press and hold the set change button, now it's going into the first cycle. Here's cycle number one that you cannot adjust, and it's when it releases the air from the tank. The valve is turning. That's what the flashing lights mean. Now it's arrived. Okay, now it's arrived at step one. 
Right now, nothing's happening and nothing is programming the step. What you'll notice when you're monitoring a backwash is that after about two minutes, a bunch of bubbles and a bunch of water are going to come out of your drain line and then all the air has been escaped. We're going to advance past this cycle so that I can show you the rest of this. To advance between the cycles when it's in it, just press and hit the uh, set change button. Now the valve is advancing to step two. And step two is the backwash and when it gets to saying 10 minutes, we will know now it is in the backwash cycle. At this point, you'll have water coming out the drain line in the back. We're going to now press and hold the set change button and it's skipped over step three since we didn't have any time for step three. What goes straight to step four, which is our rapid rinse. When the valve finishes turning, the four and the number six will appear. And there we have that. And now uh, one more time to get to the air draw cycle. We'll press and hold this. Now it's advancing to the air draw cycle, already there. Now we'll suck air for 12 minutes. And lastly, advance the valve back to the home position, which is zero. And when it gets back, now it's reflected the change and it's, it's flashing between the clock time and the value that you changed. There, you, there you're six. So that's our programming uh, video for the 5900 Air and thanks a lot.